So once again, we've got our Loctronics board ready to go. We've got some resistors set up over here. We'll talk about those in a moment. And we've got our multimeter uh, set to measure resistance. It's on the 200 ohm range, which means it's gonna measure up to 200 ohms, which is plenty for what we're doing here today. Uh, and it is set up to measure ohms. So remember, resistance is measured in ohms. So we're going to connect up uh, some different values of resistors in series this time. In a previous video, we had uh, resistors that all had the same value. In this video, we're going to look at resistors of different values. So we're going to start off uh, looking at a 10 ohm resistor here. And again, bear in mind that resistors have different tolerances, which means that when we measure this, it might not be exactly 10 ohms. It might be a little bit more or a little bit less. So some of our answers that we're expecting on the multimeter might not come out absolutely perfectly, but they'll be well within the tolerance of the resistors. So let's get started and have a look at this. So first of all, we're going to connect a 10 ohm resistor to an 18 ohm resistor. So we've got a 10 ohm resistor and an 18 ohm resistor. So from a previous video, we know that the formula for calculating resistances is RT will be equal to R1 plus R2, where RT, remember, is the total resistance of the circuit. So what we should expect to get here is RT is equal to 10 plus 18, and that's gonna give us 28 ohms. So let's measure the resistance across these two resistors and see if we've got 28 ohms. So we'll plug one lead in that side and one lead in that side. And we're coming out at 27.8. That might even climb a little bit more, but we're very, very uh, acceptably close to 28 ohms there. So we can see that the maths continues to work. But you may be thinking, well, that's all well and good, Joe, but what if I swap over the two resistors? Will I still get the same result? Let's have a look. So if we remove the 10 ohm resistor and the 18 ohm resistor and pop those in side by side, do we still get 28 ohms? Well, of course we do. And this follow, follows mathematical logic because just as it doesn't matter what order you add numbers in, it doesn't matter what order we connect our resistors in, we'll still get the same total resistance in the circuit. So that's what we've got there. So let's move on now and connect up a different resistor value. So now we've got a 27 ohm resistor. So we're gonna connect our 27 ohm resistor to our 10 ohm resistor. And again, let's work through the maths. You may find sometimes you think, why do you keep on repeating this formula, Joe? I do this in all my lessons when I'm teaching, and it's gonna be a feature of most of my videos. We repeat the formula again and again and again, so that eventually it will sink into your mind and you'll be able to almost whisper it in your sleep without thinking. So let's have a look at this. We've got RT equals R1 plus R2, which gives us RT equals 27 plus 10. So our total resistance RT, should be 37 ohms. So let's see if that's what we've got. So we're coming out, once that settles down, we're getting about 36.5, which again is very, very close to 37. So we're really happy with that reading. So we'll build one more circuit, a final circuit that we're gonna build now. Stretch the maths a little bit. So now we've got three resistors connected in series with each other. We've got a 27 ohm, a 10 ohm, and an 18 ohm. So again, let's run through the maths. RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. So we've got 27 plus 10 plus 18. So that's gonna give us 27 plus 10 is 37 plus 18 should give us 55 ohms. Now bear in mind, we're combining the tolerances of three different resistors, so we might not get exactly 55 ohms, but we should be very, very close. So let's measure the resistance from one side of the circuit to the other. And we're coming out at 54.1, 54.2 it's settled down at. So we can see there again, we're very close to that 55 ohms that we should expect to be getting, and we're quite happy with that result. So that's what happens when you connect resistors of different values in series with each other.